I'm going to now have a chance to bring up our phenomenal Dr. Eric Prince, who's going to take it away. This is someone who literally holds one of the world records, you know, in sprinting in his category. I believe it's for the 400 meters, whenever he was the oldest man to do that over the age of 40. I mean, just incredible, okay? Not only is he a naturopath, he also used to actually be involved in emergency medicine, okay? So he understands both sides of really how disease happens and what we can do to help prevent it and reverse it, okay? And so we're so proud because over the last 10 years, he's helped thousands of people get their health back. He's helped thousands of people reverse their age. And now he is here with us as our leading formulator for this new program. And so without any further ado, Eric Prince, if you can go ahead and take it away. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, can you hear me okay? I can, and look what I have, guys. Eric, I don't know if you saw the products, right? <laughs> Is that exciting, guys? Exciting, yeah, we, exciting, right? And, 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 and I want you to know that this is just the beginning because once we develop the website and develop the product line, we will have every product holistic that's necessary to deal with heart disease specifically, to deal with cancer specifically, to deal with diabetes specifically, to deal with MS specifically, lupus specifically, leukemia specifically, in other words, there's not going to be one condition on this planet that we have ever dealt with from a medical perspective that we will not be able to reverse. What does that mean? That means that we are one-stop shop. There is no other place for anyone to go. When you have all the answers, when you have the results, when you have the testimonies, where is there else to go? It's the same thing that happened when, when Jesus told the disciples, if you eat of my flesh and you drink of my blood, ye shall have eternal life. Well, that's what you guys have been doing. When you eat of my flesh, you're consuming my words. The words that I'm speaking to you, the words that, that Melissa is sharing with you, Melissa is a great student. She's picking this up like, like a sponge. You know, as I'm listening to her, I'm, I'm, hearing, I'm hearing a reflection of the things that I say. And, and so the fact that we have a one-stop shop and the fact that you can actually go to one place and address all your issues, this is amazing for the world. So this isn't just some fad that's just happening for the time being, no, this is forever. This is something now that a lot of people don't know. That's why we're setting it at a, at a million, but it's gonna be far more than a million, especially once you start to connect to the rest of the world. Everyone from Africa, from Brazil, from all around the coast is gonna wanna be a part of this. So what are we doing? We are setting a new precedent on the planet, something that has never happened before. The reason we talk about 144,000, and I think some of you may understand where that 144,000 comes from. That 144,000 is a critical mass of people that will instantly cause a shift around the world, meaning that this 144,000 people doing everything alike will actually create a, a, a conscious shift that will cause people to start doing the same thing just because this 144,000 represents one mind, but it's a mind that has been amplified. When you amplify that mind, you start to send a signal because thoughts are impulses. You start to send a signal across the world and people start changing without them even trying to or even knowing why they're changing. And this is based upon what's called the 100 monkey syndrome. I don't know if you ever uh, heard of the 100 monkey syndrome. Well, the 100 monkey syndrome has to do with the fact that there was these monkeys on this island and they was eating their food a certain way. And once, 100, once the 100th monkey started eating the food the same way as the other 99, all of a sudden, monkeys on other islands started to eat it the same way, even though they had not been trained, even though they had not been shown, they had automatically started eating it a certain way. That's why they call it the 100 monkey syndrome, because that, that was the critical mass needed to affect the monkeys all over the other islands. And so when you talk about 144,000, that's minimum. We're going to see far more than that coming through here. But once we reach 144,000, the world cannot do anything but change in that moment, almost instantly. 
you know, we understand the spontaneous remission and, and we understand instant healing. But what about when you reach 144,000, as the revelation explains to you, these are people that are doing things the right way. These are people that are doing things according to science, according to scripture, according to prophecy. It doesn't matter if you're, if you're dealing with Buddhism, Hinduism. No, once you start understanding the science of how life works and how your body works, then that's when you start to move into spirituality. You start to become the spirit person, the spirit man and the spirit woman. You start to ascend above religion itself. Religion is only a temporary place to keep you until you become enlightened. Well, what are we doing with this process? We're raising you to such a high vibration, to such a high level of consciousness that we become face to face with the father. And we start and we start to deal with him from a holistic perspective. Like right now, there are some of you that are actually on the cleanse as we speak. And I'm gonna have some of you chime in once I finish to, to give your experience, whether you're in day one, day five, day six, but people right now on this call are actually in the process because guess what? They didn't wanna wait. And I don't blame you, you know, because this is life. Now you have a chance to go into a new year with a new body, not like some of those old uh, you know, new year's resolutions that we start off and we never make it through it, no, this is real. This isn't a new year revolution. This is a lifetime revolution. And you want a resolution. Well, it's a revolution. It's a health revolution also. But at the same time, this is now where we get the opportunity to reverse degeneration. We want to reverse degeneration. What people are finding out on the bio scan, and I just want to say we had a great time in Atlanta. And I know Larice is on here, so I'm gonna say hey, hi to you, Larice, because we had a great time down there. And and, and I know Larice got very emotional because when she sat down for that scan, she felt something that she hadn't felt in a long time, which was hope. She had hope, and that's what this is all about: is giving our people hope. Up until now, we didn't have a lot of hope. We watched as our loved ones deteriorated in the hospitals with all of these tubes down their throat in their body, feeding tubes. That is not the way to go. In fact, who wants to go? We don't have to go that way anymore. Once we start to accept everything that's going on at it, because this, this is created by God. When, when, when Melissa and I and Sharon and all of us, when we came together, that was a, it, it seemed like a fluke because all of a sudden we was merged in, we was accepted, we was a family, we was on stage, we was talking. And it, and it just happens so fast. That's how you know God is in it. Only time things are difficult is when it's not supposed to go in a certain direction or when your subconscious program is still locked into the old way of life. We have to renew our minds on a deeper level. We have to get rid of the old programs. We have to get rid of the mental and emotional baggage because that's taking us down. And so when you detox, it's not just about getting the physical toxins out of your body. It's also about getting the mental and emotional toxins out, the negative thinking, the negative emotions, all of that actually weakens your immune system. So it's not just the food that's making you sick. Sometimes it's what's eating you. And so that's why it's important to begin to start a detox process and you make it consistent every year. Don't stop detoxing ever. I'm back in the green in all of my categories, my heart, is working strong like it was when I was in my 20s. My brain is working strong like it was in my 20s. My liver, my kidneys, uh, my, nu my nutritional profile, vitamins and minerals, everything's in place because I'm able to see where I'm at in real time. See, the problem before and until now is that we didn't have the ability to see where we are on the disease progression until the crisis showed up. Who wants to wait until the crisis show up? Who wants to sit in the ER for 14 hours waiting for them to just give us drugs and medication because they're not gonna find anything because the problem is holistic. You can't take care of a dietary issue with medication, it's just not possible. But at the same time, you have to be willing to make some sacrifices. Your success is in direct proportion to what you're willing to sacrifice. If you're not willing to make any sacrifices, then this is not for you. This process is not for you. Wakana is not for you. So don't waste our time and don't waste your money. If you really want change, 
we are about change. We don't need any negativity in this organization. We need you to be as patient as possible. We need you to be understanding as possible. We need you to be accepting of what we're doing and the time it takes for us to do it because once it's in place, nobody can stop us. Not the government, you know, not the politicians, nobody. Because guess what? They're gonna start seeking us as well. The politicians, the government, the stars, the celebrities, the singers, everyone's coming to us. And, and I'm already working with, uh, what's her name? Um, Jennifer Hudson. So Jennifer Hudson, I'm working with her, her drummer. His name is Ranier. So we're getting closer and closer to the celebrities. And once we connect with them and we get them on this process and program, we get them on this agenda, then they will use their influence to speak to the world to let them know what we're doing. And that means that whoever needs to go through this process has to go through you. Whether it be your family, whether it be your friends, that means that we're locking this thing to where you have to go through. It says, no one comes on to the Father except through the Son. We have to create that portal through which people can get to the Father in a real way. But in order to do that, guess what? You have to become a living sacrifice, which is your reasonable service. So be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by what? Renewing of your mind. Which mind are they talking about? They're not talking about the conscious mind. They're talking about your subconscious mind. When it says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, they're not talking about the conscious mind. They're talking about the subconscious mind. You have that mind as well as Christ Jesus has, but that's the same mind you have to renew because that's where all the negative baggage is. That's where all the negative programming is, all of your upbringing. That's what's perpetuating the diseases in the bloodline. We're about reversing the bloodline curses because now we're clear that we were under a curse. We were under a curse. Whoever the sun sets free is free indeed. We're freed from that to the point where we're no longer going to be borrowers guess what? We're going to be loners. That's what it says. You're no longer going to be a borrower. You're going to be a lender. You're not going to build houses and somebody else inhabit them. You're going to build houses and you're going to inhabit them. You're not going to be dealing with wasting diseases, blight, inflammation, and a sore botch that cannot be healed. Yeah, diabetes is actually in the Bible. Did you know that? It talks about it as a sore botch that cannot be healed. And we know when people are dealing with amputations, it's a sore that could not be healed. It's just that back then, the Bible didn't call it diabetes. That's what we learn to call it now, but that's exactly what they were describing. But when they described it, it was on the side of the curses. It wasn't on the side of the blessings. Revelations 22, 2, 2, 2, 2. Revelation 2, 2, 2 says, the leaves of the tree shall be for the healing of the nation. The leaves of the tree shall be for the healing of the nation. Why did it say that in Revelation? Because that's the end game. That's how we're going to correct the damage that has been done because the leaves of the tree are herbs. The leaves of the tree are plants. What are we dealing with now? We're dealing with plant medicine. Cannabis is plants. That's plant medicine. The, the herbs, the three powders and the three superfoods and the, and the supplements that we have is all plants. Everything is plants. So we're about to create a whole system of plant medicine that should never have been taken off the table by the Rockefellers back in the early 1900s. Yep, that's exactly what happened. The Rockefellers took natural medicine off the table and they used their political influence to put their curriculums into the medical schools for the sake of profit. So the system that we were all born into was a, a corrupt system based upon profit. And because of that, we're watching our loved ones go down the drain. Now, I'm not saying that the medical doctors are, are bad people or even evil people. They're in the same system. They, they had hearts of helping and saving people just as I had when I went into emergency medicine. But what I discovered is that dealing with emergencies, dealing with crisis, I was never going to 
get, I was never going to get a person to where they needed to be. Because if I saved their life, if I got a pulse back, got them to the hospital, got them stabilized, they was admitted for a few days. When they got back out of the hospital, what do you think they're going to do? They're going to go straight back to what caused them to go to the hospital in the first place. So we're not making any ground. We're not covering any ground with that situation. So when I figured that out, I realized, you know what? I need to come out of emergency medicine because it's not helping us. It's not working for us. And we're just caught in a loop. We're imprisoned in this system and we can't get out. But guess what? The doors have been opened. The doors have been opened to become free from that whole healthcare system. You don't need, you don't need healthcare the way we think you do. We're only asking for healthcare insurance so that we can pay them to practice on us. But unfortunately, what we're learning now is that the first leading cause of death in America is heart disease, the second is cancer. But many of us did not know that the third leading cause of death in America is a term called iatrogenic, which means medical error and medical treatment. Yeah, that's the third leading cause of death in America. So you're more likely to die from going to see your medical doctor than a drive-by shooting in your worst neighborhood in wherever city you live in. But when we turn on the news, what happens? We're not hearing about the deaths that happened in the hospital. We're hearing about the deaths in the black neighborhood. They're creating narratives because guess what? They control the media. The Rockefellers and the, the families with the money that, that built up the pharmaceutical industry, that got us addicted to these medications, that got us feeding off the FDA requirements and making us think that we're doing something right. No, we're not because guess what? When you scan, you're noticing that you have created a list of things in your body that are moving towards the crisis and taking you closer to death. Now, here's the interesting part. Because we're not sick, we don't think that there's anything wrong going in our body. But that's the problem is that for some reason, as you're degenerating and moving closer to degeneration, you're not going to be sick during that process. You're going to be well. You may not be feeling your best. You may have a few pains here, a few aches here, but nonetheless, you're still progressing towards the crisis. You're either doing something every day to live or you're moving towards death. There is no in between. You're either degenerating or you're regenerating. Most of us are on the degeneration path. That's the program that's planned on our subconscious mind is degeneration. We have to break the addiction to animal protein because that's all it is right now. It's just an addiction. We don't really like animals like that as far as to eat. We love animals just like we love our dogs. We love our cats. We love animals. If you got to know animals and you got to know their personality, you will realize that they are some very powerful and beautiful creatures. And to be eating them, you cannot really receive the benefits of having a relationship with an animal because guess what? If thoughts, animals don't talk. So their communication is mental. Their communication is on a whole nother level. And believe it or not, they can communicate with you. But if they fear you, they ain't trying to tell you nothing. <laughs> they ain't trying to tell you to go the other direction like they did when they had that tsunami and over 200,000 people were killed in a tsunami back in 2005. I don't know if you, some of you remember that when a tsunami hit, over 200, that, that's what it read on the headlines, over 200,000 people dead in this tsunami. That means there was an earthquake up under the, the ocean and it caused a big wall of, of water to come in inland. And many people, well, 200,000 plus, was not aware that this tsunami was coming. But guess what? In that same newspaper, back in 2005, I read at the bottom, it was a little, it was a little small article. It said, no wildlife harmed in that whole tsunami. No wildlife harmed. How did 200,000 people get taken out and not one animal was killed? Think about it. That's because they're not fallen creatures. We are. And until we get back to where we need to be, we're going to always be in harm's way. So, for you guys, I know you're excited about doing this process. We've scanned a lot of people. 
And we are, we're working on products, we're working on packages, we're working on regiments and getting them out to you. So I'm just asking you to be patient with us. Don't be mad at us if we ain't getting you fast enough. We're working 24 seven. I was supposed to meet up with Melissa this morning. Man, I was knocked out. I was asleep. You know, Melissa worked me like a Hebrew slave, but that's okay. I don't have a problem with that. You know, you know, <laughs> we all used to be Hebrew slaves, but the point, the point of it is, is that this is, I'm ready for, I'm ready for whatever I need. I'm ready for the intensity. I'm ready for the rigor because this is what I committed my life to. It's to helping you just as I've helped myself, just as I've saved my mom's life. She's with me today because she listened to me. And you know what? It's hard for a parent to think that the diet that they gave their child was actually harmful to the child. Parents never want to think that they didn't do their best for their child. But I let my mom know, you just didn't have the information that you needed in order to do the best for us. But when it came back around, it was the parent became the child and the child became the parent. And I had to teach her things that her grandmother never knew. So no, I'm not gonna let my mother go down the drain like that. She's not dying from heart disease. She's not dying from cancer. No, she will not. that will never happen. As long as I can help her to see what's going on in her body, help her go through the cleanse and detoxification process and keep it consistently going on in her life until she's 180. So I challenge everyone to live in your imagination, not in your memory. We live too much in our memory and we repeat the past. Get out of the past, let the past go, it's over. As long as you stay there, you're gonna repeat it. So now we have to forgive. You have to forgive. You have to get rid of the resentment, the animosity, the strife, whatever you had with anyone. Let it go because you have committed a worse atrocity against God and you don't even know it. So if you want to be forgiven, you have to forgive. And that's, and that's in scripture. And once you understand that, and once you start dealing with your emotional toxins and your mental toxins, now you have the power by thought to begin to create the world that you desire, the body that you desire, the relationships that you desire, the world that you desire, the wealth that you desire, the legacy, the healing that you desire. And now, now you're an asset to the world. You're an asset to the kingdom. Let me tell you this from the bottom of my heart, the kingdom of heaven will start in Wakanda. The kingdom of heaven on earth will start in Wakanda. I, I promise you that because I've already seen it. I know what it looks like, which is what I'm trying to do. I'm, I'm helping to bring people into that kingdom. That's a kingdom of no disease, no degeneration, no death, nothing but happiness, health, love, peace, joy, harmony, divine protection, favor, wisdom, understanding, grace, mercy, prosperity, abundance, wealth, and success. Which one of them you don't want? You want all of them. That's why it's so important now to really get in tune with this. Start bringing your people here because let me tell you something. This is a new road. This is a new route that we've never experienced before. You gotta think if you're 40, 50 or 60 and you never knew your blood type, then you've been eating in the dark all your life and wondering why the things are happening in your body. Like Melissa said, this science isn't new. This has been out for years. In fact, the biofeedback technology has been out since the 1980s. The question is, well, why are we just now finding out about this? Because by design, it was kept from you so that you would not have power to rise above the powers that are over you. Now we have time to rise. And that's what the scripture says. It says that the mountain of God shall be established and all the hills and the people shall flow into that mountain. Well, what do you think we're doing? We're establishing that mountain right here and right now and it doesn't matter who's, what's going on around us, what organization, the momentum that we're building is for the sake of fulfilling prophecy in scripture. And so I, I challenge everyone, you want to detox, whether you do it now or later, but you need to start this journey so that you can get out of the habit of eating not to live, but eating to die. Most of us are eating to die. We want to eat to live. So when you talk about knowing your blood type, you're eating to live. When you talk about detoxing your system, you're eating to live. And that starts to clean the pass out. 
So let's talk about resetting our system, resetting our immune system, resetting our digestive system, resetting our mental capacity, resetting our nutritional profile. In other words, just like a computer, when that computer gets to the point where it's so much on it, it crashes. Same thing with us. We have to go back to default mode. When you go back to default mode, you're clearing all of the baggage out that you accumulated in the state when you was in your darkness. Now we can see. And so the products, we're going to work on getting a lot of products out this week and then this month. So if you haven't gotten your products yet, you've scanned, uh, be patient. It's coming. Uh, regimens are coming. Products are going to be put in place. We're going we're gonna to be ordering a lot of products for a lot of people because we have a lot of people that need the products. So once we get, get everything lined up, once we get everything, because as you can see, Melissa already showed you the packages, and I think they're great packages. This is my first time, my first day actually seeing the labels and the packages themselves. They do a great job on putting packages and the products together, but it's not only just going to be pretty, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be beneficial. 